I wanted to go over this due to the fact that Mr. Jim Sullivan was not the only disappearance in the Santa Rosa area. Which leaves me to believe what was, what is, or what was really going on back in these days. And he disappeared in 1969. These murders happened in, you know, who knows how long from 72. I mean, course of seven years. Seven violent years. Now, it's hard to say if they went from 72 on or 69 on. Oh, wait a minute, 68, 69, 70s and ones and two. Oh, wow, these, well, if it started back in 66, 67, 69, 70, 1, 2, yeah, seven, no, 65. It would have happened in 65. If it went 72 on, then that's something different, but 65 up till 72, that's very interesting. Ah. Uh, Bodies were found in a creek bed. I want to say. I mean, Jim Sullivan, man, that guy and his music. I don't know what it is, man, but I went back to that other. I went back to his album again, UFO. And I'm, I'm getting ready to buy that on CD because I just can't stop listening to it. When I do listen to that album, I mean, I get so into it. Yeah, the music is pulling in, but just like a mystery in a book. There's something there, and I, I have to go back again, because you never know if you miss something. Uh, he does speak of a creek. Oh, I did find out something about a, a, a terrain of a creek, and... Uh, you know, Jerome, the city, and, um, and, uh, what, that, um, brook, or creek, that I, uh, the name and the, um, Johnny, found out about that out there, talking about stuff in his music, I mean, if no one's heard this album yet, I recommend you to go out there, and I don't know, I can't say if anything that he sing about maybe could add something to do with these missing girls you know who knows maybe the ufo in that area was sucking them up killing them dropping them off or whatever the case may be but they're of course going on that the zodiac killer and the hillside strangler or even ted bundy may have been responsible for these killings and that's another thing that leads me back to the Zodiac Killer. Now, someone had told me in a comment that, uh, the, um, what the hell's his name? The guy I speak of that broke out of the, in, 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 the uh, asylum in New Hampshire, 1974. I think that person could have broke out earlier and they used that as a cover-up. I think he broke out earlier and they... Uh, what the hell is his name? Ah, oh, damn it. It's that guy I talk about that leads to the 112 dirt bag. And they say that... And there was an interview... Or something I watched that they claimed that he could have went to California. I forgot to I forgot to do that. Someone said, or even in an article that I read, that he could have went as far as California, which would make sense. Why would he stick around and get caught? And if he picked up a new deadly habit, as if from a, you know, from killing his family. Hey. Get over here. Goddamn pug. Um, why wouldn't he have gone out to California to kill? 
I gotta pause for a moment because I gotta get this dog in the house. Now he's around wandering and looking at the neighbor's house. <laughs> Out. That's who it was. McGrath. So, this being, you know, he could have been on his way out to California. 72. You know, that's the thing with McGrath, like I was saying. I think they, I think this guy got out a little bit earlier than what they say he did. I don't think he broke out in 74. I think this guy broke out earlier. Like 72. And, uh, and by 74, when they couldn't find this guy, I think they made up that whole story. That's what I think that happened to McGrath. He was, you know, determined to get out. He wasn't going to spend the rest of his life in a friggin' asylum. And whatever, for whatever reason, he picked up the nasty habit of wanting to murder people. Only he can tell that is right. I mean, you'll never know what his upbringing was like with his family within that short period of time. I mean, you got to think he's a kid that just broke into his early manhood. And all of a sudden he just ends up killing. But everything determines of what goes down in the beginning of life anyways. Seven, eight years old. If he was smart in math, and you know, he had a little, um, a little, uh, you know, intelligence to run the streets, then there you have it. He, you know, he had the, um, damn it, street smarts. That's all you need. And for that, that's to be said, and him taking off like he did, I wouldn't be surprised if McGrath was the Zodiac Killer. But um, this was something very interesting I needed to share. I mean, it's got to roll into two different stories. And just to think what really happened out in this area back in them days, a remote town. The Redwood Empire Ice Arena, was that that? Oh no, this is another story. Ghosts haunting their house. Oh, that's a whole other story. But wait a minute, I thought I did say Redwood. No, Red Oak. Never mind. But. Nothing like having a good mystery, I tell ya. And for this to come out like it does, and the things that could have gone and happened back in them days. Everything back then was untraceable. <laughs> and what they did back then, it's, yeah, it's just scary. And what could be out there now today with today's technology. But um, I'm going to get out of here. I wanted to share that. Till the next video, be safe, take care, and always beware. Especially with stuff like this.